We're back 738 with some inspiring history that was made in college football over this weekend. Yeah, for the first time ever, a woman played in an NCAA game at a position that was not kicker. Her name is Haley Van Voorst, and we cannot wait to talk to her. But first, NBC's Kaylee Hartung has her amazing story. Kaylee, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So after more than two years on her college football team without seeing any game action, Haley told me she felt like she was in a movie when she stepped on the field Saturday. Her team needed to stop on third down, and Haley ran right for the quarterback, getting her Hollywood ending to the play. Who runs the field? This girl. We saw some history made here today. Uh... Shenandoah University's Haley Von Voris making history as the first woman to take the field, not as a kicker, in an NCAA football game. It's not every day that a female gets to play college football. So, you know, the, the sideline was going crazy. Um, it was just a great moment. <laughs> and she made her presence known. The five foot six safety came into the game with Division Three Shenandoah up 26 points against Juniata College, registering a quarterback hurry on the way to a Shenandoah win. Did that quarterback know what or who hit him? I've had some people come up to after the game until I take my helmet off. They're like, dude, I didn't know you were even a girl. Growing up in the Plains, Virginia, Haley's been going up against the boys for a long time. First in baseball, then at 10 years old when she started playing flag football, later becoming the first girl to play on her high school's football team. Did it take any convincing your parents to let you play a game with a bunch of boys? As long as I was happy and did what I love, they were all for it. With a fierce competitive spirit, Haley prides herself on giving maximum effort through her intense weightlifting sessions in the gym and every practice rep on the field. I do think my mindset's one of my strongest capabilities alongside my speed and my strength. Just my ability to push myself past where I think I can go has helped me a lot. She also runs track and field for Shenandoah, and she's dead set on running through barriers for women in sports. So to be able to make a step forward is like, an amazing thing like to um, create new opportunities along the way and show that like hey this can be done for now she's just focused on the next play the next time we need to get the sack <laughs> yeah Haley now she is making history in her own right but there are a few women who have blazed a trail on special teams before her Haley pointed to Katie Nida who was the first woman to score in a division one football game she kicked two extra points for the University of New Mexico in 2003 and now no doubt there are young girls who are going to be looking up to Haley mm -hmm. guys absolutely Kaylee mm -hmm. thank you so much we've got Haley with us now good morning congrats Good morning, guys. How, how did it feel, Haley? Did you wake up in the morning and think, this is going to be the day? I think I'll make history today. Yeah. Something like that, you know, <laughs> just <laughs> out here to be playing football and it's game day. And, you know, you always got to be excited. Well, you know what? Most of us, anyone who's ever played a sport knows what it's like to ride the bench for a long time. And then finally your number gets called. But you didn't just go in and make an average play. You went in there and made a great tackle. Tell us what it felt like in that moment. Um, I mean, words really can't describe, but if I had to put it into words, it was just an amazing moment because, you know, I've been working, like you said, two years. It's, it's a long time to be sitting on the sideline, and, you know, I earned every moment of it because, you know, you don't see half, ha not even half the things that go in behind that moment. So to me, it was, a, it was just a big moment to be able to crush my own goals and then make a statement for just the football community and, you know, show that women can play the game at whatever level that may be. I mean, you are showing the way, showing how it's done. How hard have you had to work not only to be in this kind of shape, shape and be able to play, but also just to kind of overcome those stereotypes and people who don't think that a woman can play at this level? Um, a lot more than people would think on the outside. It's, it's a lot of work. I mean, I'm just, I'm not like born, you know, like the guys, I don't have that strength, that speed. So everything I've had to, to work for, find my edge, be able to just be great at everything I do on the field and off to be able to be in the position I was on Saturday. Well, uh, football's a team sport, and when you had that, you were surrounded by some great teammates. How has it been with you in that group? Um, I love it. I mean, I love my teammates. It's it's an awesome team. Shenandoah is like no better home. I would, you know, no better place I would call home because it's just these guys are very like they they're people I look up to and they've always helped, you know, coach me and made me a better player. So I'm just so glad that 
I'm able to be th with this group because we are going about to do something special this year. Uh, oh. Haley Van Voorhis, congratulations. Put me in, coach. Way she did go. it. Got it done. Way to go, Haley. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.